All right, I'm going to try this method of uh, speaking since I'm worried almost to nothing. Except for Batman Speedos. Speedos with the Batman logo on it. <coughs> <coughs> Regardless, uh, I want to talk about the concept of peace. Now, peace is commonly an, an antonym of war. What's war? Wars are specific conflicts, conflicts which have one opposing entity desire the this term um, the end of another entity, so the elimination of the other entity that it opposes. And I've described that states engage in uh, warfare. Commonly this is probably state capitalist, but seeing as I'm a capitalist, I don't want to confuse people and use that kind of terminology and um, make them think I'm some sort of Mr. 1001 Nights kind of guy. But regardless, the way I see it, war and peace aren't just something that's military. They're very, it's a very broad subject. And the way I see it, I favor a conflict between one value to the other. I think that the ultimate argument of virtues or values happens to be that of liberty not versus freedom, but versus peace itself. <coughs> <coughs> and to that, I say that liberty would win. Because peace is a very dependent subject. There is going to be situations where a war of some sort would be a good thing for even liberty and these things are probably a war on death a war on non-longevity a war on mortality i'm basically saying the same thing but a war on um Poverty, but not welfare state esque, more like uh, something where there's a higher abundance, so there's less of a need for people to like die out like they're doing now, being really sick on the streets. Just all these nasty things. There's things where you're being uh, liberated through a warfare of one kind a confliction where you're trying to favor one side discriminate between each of them and favor one side and want to eliminate the other side the problem with um the warfare that the state contributes to is one where it's at a constant that a perpetual state of warfare where the dichotomies change and when the dichotomies change one side is going to be essentially eliminated and there are ways for the state to avoid this but that can only happen in an era of anti-statism where states will have to be minarchist esque, lest um, they suffer some consequences. Yeah, so those are very ethical words, lest bad things happen to them. So they can't engage in a military warfare or close off the markets or do things of this nature. So, how do I wrap up this video? Well, I can say a few things. I can say that liberty 
surpasses peace in the sense that liberty is universal, whereas peace is something that um, it's good for certain things. But if you look at peace in a more general, more holistic sense, there are situations where peace is something that's not desired. Or stuff like um, poverty and mortality or things that we must have a war against. But there are certain things where we got to get rid of it. For the sake of liberty. And what the states do is that they never engage in any sort of peace. They are at a constant ad hoc situation where they attempt to push whatever it is that's in their fantasy structure. What are this? fantasy structure be some sort of state capitalist institution, say feudalist one, or an illusion to socialist one, like the Soviet Union. Like they can all be juxtaposed. They're, they can have those properties layered. But whatever it is, the way they interact with that fantasy structure is an act of a warfare that will almost always, that will almost always be a violation of liberties, of some sort of liberty. It's a constant situation where this is happening. <coughs> and by being the anarchist or the anti statist, you're essentially pushing yourself out of this situation, pushing yourself into a war against the state, You're pushing yourself to a war against the state. And when that happens, um, your end result will be less wars. And the only wars will be those not of military, not of ideology or things of this nature, but of innate or natural disadvantages of um, a lack of prosperity and these other things that liberty must depend on. So that's how I conclude this video. Um, I basically s repeated the whole thing twice so that if you don't get it the first time, you'll get it the second time. And I'm done. Let's see, find the mouse.